Especially problematic are those microorganisms that have developed resistance to antibiotic treatment. The most dangerous are those that may spread by the airborne route, which include methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA, and multidrug-resistant tuberculosis, XTB. Hospitals are good examples of places where dilution ventilation has limitations in reducing these microbial contaminants. Approved remediation of contaminated air spaces is ultraviolet germicidal irradiation, UVGI. The process is already well known and applied worldwide for water purification. So how does UVGI work? UVGI lamps with an armature will be installed at a safe height in the patient room where it can perform 24 hours a day. There will always be air circulation in the room. The infected air exhaled by the patients will increasingly pollute the air present. When this polluted air flows through a zone radiated by a UVC lamp, the purifying effect will occur and the existing bacteria, viruses and other microorganisms will be deactivated. Because of this, an air quality will be created where the level of pollution is so low, the risk of infection will be drastically diminished. The lamps produce light with a 254 nanometer wavelength. This radiation deactivates bacteria, viruses and other microorganisms. The DNA structure is destroyed in such a way the cells can no longer multiply. The process is clean because it does not produce dangerous byproducts. The realization of the upper air system is very simple. UVC radiation is produced by the lamp and amplified by reflectors assembled at the back. The fins at the front ensure the light is directed parallel to the ceiling and that no light shines towards the ground. The use of long life lamps and the simplicity of execution means limited maintenance with maximum reliability. When looking for places where these lamps could be efficiently applied, the choice for a hospital will be very understandable. There are a lot of people coming together and the chance that some bear harmful bacteria and viruses is very big. This carries great risk because many occupants in hospitals have a suppressed immune system. As well as patient wards, there are more spaces with an increased risk of bacteria and virus contamination, like waiting rooms, reception counters, appointment counters, first aid rooms, etc. The upper air system can successfully be applied in these places. Besides the upper air solution, it's also possible to use a special UVC lamp application. For example, quarantine rooms can be cleaned between patient occupation by radiating the empty room with lamps in a configuration that ensures concentrated radiation of the walls and equipment. During this process, no one is allowed in the room being treated.